Hi everybody, I'm Mary. And I'm Joe. And, and we're, we're Book Buds! We've got a show and tell for you today with some awesome old books that Joe has. So what's going on here? All right, so I have to tell you a story. Okay. Okay, so I went to Catholic school as a kid, K through eighth grade, and of course I was always in the library, constantly, right? So, and it was, you know, back in the day, right? So when you went to the library at school, you would take this card out. Remember this, guys? Yeah. And you would write your name and grade on this and leave it with the librarian. And she would know who has it. Right? Remember that? So, I was always reading in school. So, fast forward, the school closes. And I was so upset. But, you know, they still use the school for certain things. And, you know, there are certain events where I go back every year for, like, certain, like, plays around... Um, holidays and things like that. So this one particular time, I was in the school, and I saw the library was open. Yay! <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, my childhood library. I'm so sentimental and nostalgic, so I was just like, I have to go in. So I went in. Now the school's closed. They don't use it. There's no students anymore. The library was like untouched. Wow, all those books just sitting there. All the books were still there. So of course I immediately, because I have a sick memory I go to like the certain spots where like I knew the books that I took out were like my favorite books mm -hmm. they were still there they were still there so I open them up and I find my name from third grade these things uh -huh. are still in here right here where is it oh, here it is third grade <gasps> there you are you wrote in script right here and then <laughs> he wrote in script this one I did. Kids I today can't do that. I know. Do they even teach that anymore? They don't even know what that is. <clears throat> Here it is, fourth grade. Grade four. Oh, and I took this one out twice. Once in third grade, once in fourth grade. So let's talk about these books for a second. So these are very famous books. Uh, Beverly Cleary. Okay. Henry and Ribsy. Now these are these are the kids' books, but I used to love them. And this was from I think they're from the fifties, nineteen fifty four. So do you guys remember this? Who remembers this? Because this is so exciting to me. And look at this one. This one is Henry in the Clubhouse. Right? Remember Beverly Cleary? Ramona? I read Ramona's. I never read Henry's, though. No? No. Oh, my goodness, Mary. You missed. I guess so. There were so many. Oh, see, look. Here's the list. Beezes and Ramona. Mm -hmm. Henry and Beezes. Henry in the Clubhouse. Ramona Quimby, age eight. All that stuff. The Mouse and the Motorcycle. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Ralph S. Mouse. Yes. Love it. So I just love the old illustrations. I think those are really cool. And there's just something so awesome about these books. This is from 1962. Henry goes for a ride. So I just, these are like so special to me. Like I love them. How do you feel having them in your hands again from when you were a kid like this? Oh, well, I forgot to say that I stole them that night. <laughs> I was like, I'm I had, taking I had a these. <laughs> I'm taking these. When I discovered them and I saw my name and I'm like, I have to have these. They belong to me. <laughs> Why would I leave them here for them to just like disintegrate into nothing? Right. Now they made an appearance on Book Buds and they mean so much to me. Could you imagine that they would still be sitting there or worse, they like got rid of everything? Right. No. If I could carry more, I would have taken the whole shelf. <laughs> so I stole these from a Catholic school. <laughs> for Joe's library. <laughs> I'm sure they don't mind. You've committed a sin, though. <laughs> I know. And I hope nobody sees this that, like, knows about that. <laughs> You're going to come get me. So anyway, yeah. So these are, like, so cool, and I love them, and I'm glad to have them as part of my collection. That was a really nice memory to share. I'm glad you got your hands on those books. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Yeah. So if anybody out there has read any Beverly Cleary books, let us know. I'm interested to hear. So if you like what we're doing at Book Buds, please like us. And share us with your friends. And subscribe to our channel, Book Buds! We're Book Buds! That sounded stupid. Why are we like changing how we say it? No, because I just and changed it. And you tried to match my last one, but I changed it, so then it sounded flat. Do it again. <laughs>